I'm not sure what's happening with my camera. I already recorded this part already, but it seems to like turn off and then that whole thing that I've recorded is gone. Anyway, as I was saying guys, hi. Hi, 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 hi. I'm on my way, well, I'm getting ready to go and meet Tanika B and my sister-in-law. We've just come back from breakfast for my mother-in-law's birthday. Um, and we're now gonna go to lunch to meet Tanika B. Tanika B, I didn't vlog it in January when I was in Ghana because that's when I didn't know if I was vlogging or not. Um, but we met her in Ghana. She came to the Daniel Dupree show. We sat next to her and um, she was just so lovely, like the ama most amazing person, like just so lovely, so down to earth, so funny. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the lunch day that we had with her. And we just all clicked, so me, myself, my sister-in-law and her are meeting up at Harry's next to Harrods and we're gonna go get some light bites because we've had a big breakfast. Yeah, and just catch up really. So I'm gonna quickly do my face and get out but i wanted to show you so i've oh, so i've literally one of my followers recommended nars creamy concealer and um i've wanted to try it but i've just been skeptical i don't know i've just been taking my time um because i, I did a live on instagram the other day talking about how much i love the fenty beauty concealer and she said, right, if I love that, because she's never tried that, and I was telling her to try that, she said, I'm, I might really love the NARS Creamy Concealer. So I'm going to try it today. I, it's a blind buy, because I don't know if this is my color. Yes, it is. Bingo. Um, I got the mini one to test it out. I think it's very much the same. Consistency wise, so I'm gonna try it out, do my makeup quickly, try it out, and I'll come back and show you guys what I tell you guys what I think of the NARS creamy concealer. But I know a lot of people swear by it, so this is my Fenty one, and this is the NARS one, it's basically the same color. I am rushing like crazy to get out of the house, but my verdict is Fenty is creamier than the NARS creamy concealer. I can't really see. My makeup too tough so very very light i haven't done much no lashes no nothing can't bother i'm gonna wear a hat as well because i can't bother to do my edges quickly need to get changed and get out of the house so got a delivery from mango i want to wear a coat but the coat is extra large so i don't know if it's even gonna bang like that i feel like i'm still gonna have to get it taken in but hopefully it's like it gives off more of an oversized look than anything. So it's grey, double breasted. Yeah, I think I can rock it as oversized. Yeah, this is extra large. It's supposed to be quite fitted, but I'm gonna keep it as it is because it's giving me oversized vibes. So I'm gonna wear this today. Yes, we're gonna wear this coat today. And um, Bottega boots with these H&M trousers that I'm wearing, knitwear, and um, my green Birkin and a green cap. And then we're gonna go. So this is the coat. All right, Bubsy. This is the coat. I'm gonna wear a different jumper because I don't really like this one. Um, I'll probably keep with the trousers, but I'll wear my rotate jumper. Okay. Our big, our big um, designer is uh, Tom Ford. Yeah. And he pulled out a week before. Oh! Tom Ford. So tacky. You want to see the bag? I want to see the bag. Oh, your one is. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. She's a beauty. Put all the bags together. It's the bags. It's the bags for me. <laughs> oh, this is a good. Oh, you. She's on the good vlog. When you have the good camera. What's your camera? Oh, an iPhone. Oh. All of it. Well, you're vlogging. Even my little sister was like, her reels are so stupid. But your reels are amazing. On my iPhone. So, so what about your um actual like YouTube videos? That's on a camera, right? IPhone. Oh my God. What iPhone is it? Oh.
so it's the next day um <clears throat> i'm just gonna put you guys here because i need to make my coffee so it's the next day after um meeting up with the girls so tanika b and my sister-in-law so like i mentioned yesterday i was rushing i didn't even get to show you guys my outfit but i'm gonna pop a picture up for you you guys can take that in it's a cute casual outfit and my coat like i said for mango came just in time because i was so over wearing like the coats that i had at home and i needed a nice tailored coat and that was an extra large and look at how well it fit anyway that lunch that i had with tanika b at harry's so first of all harry's is very overrated like i got the lobster pasta and i had to put lots of salt and pepper to season it so i'm not in a rush to go back there i mean it's nice for aesthetics like after shopping at harry's you know you sit outside everyone's looking at you or you know bougie and whatnot but other than that it's not <coughs> anyway i'm gonna go back to to eat for a while so um we had a nice chit chat it was a nice catch up from ghana she's heading off to paris i think today or tomorrow yeah and i'm at home i need to edit a vlog and i need to also make some coffee that's what i need to do my son is so cute he's outside in the garden with his dad <laughs> his dad's on his laptop and I know my son loves being outside, but because he's got no one to play with and Leo Israel is not um, old enough yet for like activities outside, he um, he struggles quite a bit to like stay outside and be engaged. Let's see if we can make some coffee up today. Nope, it's not gonna happen. This is a poor attempt. The milk didn't even froth. <laughs> it really did not froth. What is that even? But yesterday we wanted to try and go into Harrods and have a look around and see if we could find anything. But there was literally no time because our par parking had run out. And obviously the babies were being taken care of so we needed to <laughs> go back and take care of them. Let's do this in the kitchen because the baby's sleeping. I feel like my whole life revolves around being a mother. Like I just cannot just do things anymore. I have to consider what's going on. So, everything apart from the coat was recommended by New Rihanna. I just love that girl so much. I just think her style is so cute. And she, I like tailored pieces and I feel like she fits really nice tailored pieces. I've got these trousers that I saw in her, I don't know what haul it was, her most recent haul, um, I think it was, oh, I can't remember, like it, can't, it folds over like this, I love them, when she put them on I was like yeah these trousers are bad, I'm going to put a picture because you can't really see it, but these are really nice and they are so flattering or on her they look great so i want to try them on and see for myself another time in this video and these tops that she bought as well so she got it in um, a lighter color but i bought the lighter color and the black because i really liked how they fit and um the quality oh the quality is great mm. just long sleeves simple tops but like they kind of got like gather around the breast area and um i got them both in a medium so that's the black one and this is the lighter light cream colour and the quality feels great and it's like stretch and I think it's just good for like winter and hi Mommy, football stuck football the football stuck yeah where is it Like I said, good for tradi transitional weather, um, going into spring, good for layering as well. So I'm really happy about that. And the pair of boots, I've been looking for a pair of boots for a while. And I just haven't, not that I haven't found any, but the ones I want are obviously very high end, very expensive. And right now I'm not trying to kind of, I'm not trying to spend that kind of money right now. Like if I get a pair of boots, I actually want to go to Bista Village and get them there. 
So um, I got a pair from Mango, also recommended by Nuri. She needs a hashtag like Nuri put me on or something. So I just got these square toe boots. I just really wanted some casual boots because um, I live in my Bottegas and I wanted something like if I wanted a bit of height, even though those give you height, I wanted something a bit more feminine, you know, not so casual. So these are quite cute. I was looking at square toe boots from Bottega and I was also looking at a pair from, they're not square toe, but Amina Mawadi. Um, but yeah, that will come later on. But these are really cute. I feel like they do, they'll, they'll definitely do the job. So yeah, that's my little mango haul guys. That's what I got from mango and the coat that I wore that you saw earlier on in the video so now i'm gonna drink my coffee do some editing i've got some research that i need to get on with as well because something exciting might be happening next week but i'm not gonna reveal because i don't want to jinx it and you know i will definitely come on here and tell you guys about it when it happens not if when it happens Thursday. I keep thinking it's Friday. It's Thursday. It's about five o'clock. I'm about to go and pick up my boy from nursery. I just want to jump in here quickly because I haven't vlogged for a few days. Gosh, I feel really greasy. I haven't vlogged for a few days. Um, I didn't get to show you what I got from the Belair presentation um, last week. Yeah, the Belair present presentation. The Belair. Okay, I need to show you guys what I got from the Belair screening last week we got a goodie bag but i didn't get to show you guys what was in the goodie bag um so we've got some olu olu plantain crisps it's really it's a really good goodie bag actually it's quite a few things um that i actually opened a packet yesterday because i was peckish and i had the apple and cinnamon flavor it was so good like so it was banging i put it on my instagram so if you Follow me, I'm at Trust Story, you've seen that. But if not, just letting you know now, their new flavours are doing bits. Um, then we have a Radiant Body Scrub, which I can't wait to try because I love a good body scrub. I'm going to check out the ingredients properly, but love a good body scrub. Then we've got some Palmer's Lip Balm. Ginger and apricot plant-based cakes. If that sounds interesting. Ooh. Ollie's pretzels. Some sour cream thins. I've never seen <clears throat> pretzel thins, but I'm gonna snack on these on the way. Oh, I've got some Cantu products, but well, I don't use Cantu. Sorry. That grape juice. They give us some hand, hand sanitizer. They sponsored the event. So it was the great, that great juice, um, Sky TV and Peacock TV who put together the Belair um, thingy bob. Afrocentric Swirl Silicone Free Conditioner. So that's a sample. I've heard really good things about this brand, um, Afrocentric. If you have and you know about them, Please let me know because I've heard good things, but I trust my followers and their reviews. Oh, this feels good. Um, it's very textured. Lemonade. Get into. You. I actually want to read this. We've got a copy of Will's biography. So, yeah, I really want to read this. I'm interested to know what goes on in that mind of his. So that's what we've got from the goodie bag. I'm going to go and I've got dinner tonight at Hakkasan with um, 
a friend and his missus and hubby. So I'm gonna get cab to meet hubby at his at the university where he tutors. And then we're gonna go from there to Hakkasan for dinner. I'm not wearing, I'm not changing, I'm not doing any makeup. I'm gonna wear my mango coat on top of this, some high heels, carry one of my bags. Um, so I'm wearing this Mason Margiela shirt or mesh top. And I've got jeans on as well. And I'm just gonna put on maybe boots, some nice mango boots, the boots that I showed you the other day. And my mango jacket and maybe my Chanel bag. Yeah, just keep it really simple. It's just a quick dinner, casual dinner. That's it. So, guys, I'm gonna go pick up my son, and I'll see you guys in a jiffy. he's at home <laughs> so this is my look for um dinner at hackerson tonight it's very smart casual but my favorite jeans that I, I i just live in these live um i would like if they made these without the cut because the fit of them is just so fantastic anyway wearing these and i've got my mango boots on which honestly Nuri, these are so bad like great great find um got my mango coat on as well and <laughs> this mango top that Nuri also recommended so yeah this is my look for tonight i'm so excited for dinner because i'm starving i'm gonna hop in a cab well get a cab now <sighs> order my uber and go and meet hubby both of my phones are on such low battery god help me but yeah i've got a, like a dark berry red lip tonight and i took out my earrings because they were heavy and they're starting to get on my nerves so yeah i like this look quite chic subtle love my new coat this coat is so cool all right guys go, go. bye <laughs>
hello good morning everyone or afternoon wherever you are i am on my way to a lunch with adiola boyega she is like a beauty expert and we're just going to catch up over some really good like southeast asian street food at a place called kiln i think it's called kiln in soho got my hair up in a messy pony sound bugged up again i feel like i'm always telling you guys that i've got a cold i need to really sort out my immune system and take my vitamins but um i'm just wearing some page denim pants and this top from mango and i'm gonna wear my mango boots my mango coat <laughs> and my christian dior um saddle crossbody so that's my look for today i'll show you guys i'm gonna get dressed now i'll show you and get going because i'm starting to run late again hey guys this is my look for today i'm loving chic alexis you know i'm not gonna lie like i um my style switches up with my mood really a lot of the time but i'm feeling much more like i don't know more chic chic like, i don't know how to explain i just feel like i don't know i just i just feel like i'm in this phase where i love to dress chic so I've got my mango coat on, as I mentioned. I've got my Dior saddle, and I'm going to be wearing it crossbody today. And these mango boots, I'm actually obsessed with them. Like, obsessed. Like, I just love the shape. And they just, they look so much more expensive than how much I paid. So, I'm going to link it, obviously, in the description, but okay so this is my look for today and i love it i'm gonna take some pictures today i'm meeting with jade as well later on i'm gonna go selfridges see what we can find and then i've got church later on so this is my look for today guys i think i'm gonna get some sunnies as well and put them on and put them on my head then i'll look real real parisian chic so I've put my sunnies on my head and my look is apps is so it's so com it's complete. It is complete guys. So yeah, baby's crying, gotta get ready and we have to please. It's almost like Thai, it's Thai food, Thai street food, um, and it's like tapas, so there's just lots of different dishes, and you kind of just like have to dig in and share, and I'm excited. That monkfish looks really good. Looks so good. <laughs> so I'm walking back to my car and I can I think I got a ticket because I forgot to pay or I took the picture oh, I took a picture of the wrong thing I took a picture of the bicycle bay and um, yeah it looks like I've got a ticket oh, for goodness sake <sighs> anyway I had a great lunch with Adiola um, and she gave me some great skincare no, I didn't get a ticket. No, I didn't get a ticket, guys. <laughs> yes, no ticket. <laughs> no ticket. So, I'm off to meet Jade now in Selfridges. 
and um, I'm going to do a bit of shopping. Oh, I'm so full. The food in that place insane. Oh, absolutely insane. So much flavours. You know what I love about driving my Porsche in central London? Because everyone looks at me and they're like, Yes, a black girl drives a Porsche Panamera and get used to it. <coughs> Love the sound of my engine. Um, yeah, so I really thought that was Molly May for a second, you know. I was about to go and jump on her neck. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to Selfridges now to meet Jade Van Real and we're going to do some shopping. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. The traffic today was up. Abysmal, abysmal, as in, it just took so long to get here. But thank god, had lunch now. I'm out of breath, out of breath. Anyway, let's go, let's go shopping. My favorite accessory brand. Do you have the black one? This size? No, with the gold hardware. Hi. Love it. This color's nice though. I like this size as well. How much is this one? This is like 2,000. Two five five zero. It's nice. This is the all black one, smaller. I think this is yeah. This size is much much better. Yeah, and I like the gold hardware. This one it gets lost. It just comes as it is. Okay, that's fine. I wish I can show you something, but I won't be able to. This is original now. Okay, all right, that's fine, no problem. That's fine. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, squidgy. So I'm out with the lovely Jade. Oh, she's so sweet and pretty. Um, we're looking for clothes for fashion, fashion pa Paris Fashion Week. I haven't even announced it yet, but I'll, I'm gonna have to like know, do like a recording before yeah, this, yeah. Nice, yeah. But we're just looking, browsing for some stuff. This is nice. Hi. <laughs> My favorite shop. <laughs> do you know what, yeah? But they take a price points are so high. It's so high. This is beautiful. So high. Do you know, let's go up to her. Because I know they'll have some pieces. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, it might be on this side. So we're just in Fendi. And we've learned that we can put a chain on on the bag. What's this bag called again? This is the Fendi Griffey. Fendi Griffey. It's the latest uh, launch. The latest so design. SS22. Designed by uh, Kim Jones. I haven't got a Fendi bag yet. No, not yet. But this one, I'm not sure which bag I want yet from Fendi. It gets very iconic right here. It's very similar to this. Uh huh. It's going to match absolutely perfectly with the two. I think I'm loving this strap more, you know. It's just 
It's a nice, yeah. It's like a nice, cup, yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's amazing. Long stunning. Yeah. See, I like this. Yeah, I like that. Rather, to, as to opposed the to the gold chain. chain. Yeah. This is you can dress. This is more casual. Like this is easier to wear. Don't stop! 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 How much is this strap? This is so cute. So this is the the new Fendi collection from Kim Jones, and it's the Fendi. What's it? Griff Fendi Griffey. Griffey, yeah, Griffey. And I've asked them to put on this strap, and it just you know me and crossbodies, hand in hand. It just works, and I'm just loving this strap with this bag. It's so good. So we found a few bits at her. We're gonna try them on. Jade has this sick gold suit. It's amazing. And it's a size eight, so I can't steal it from her. But I know she'll look fabulous in that. I've got a red one. I've got a bit of Nanushka and Fendi here as well. So hopefully they fit and I can book them in. We're at her in Selfridges. I will show the logo and whatnot later. And um, yeah, excited. So I've got this little Jacques Mousse, um dress, which is like a cool casual vibe. You can wear this with some boots. And then this is the Fendi Roma suit. Comes with the pants. I'm in love with this Nanushka um, pantsuit as well. This, um, my best friend actually has the bag like this. Just like this really nice lovely leather so soft and then obviously this red suit that i showed you earlier so i'm going to try them on now and show you guys what they look like are you laughing jade no it's my bum <laughs> are they tight this blazer the quality so good really nice find anything Mm -hmm. Love a bit of gunny. Where did she go? Oh, oh, here? Oh, it's like she disappeared. <laughs> oh, Zimmerman. Just holidays and Zimmerman. Mykonos. Do you know what I mean? Mykonos. So like gorgeous. Destination wedding, like a yeah, destination wedding. wedding. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I'm in love with this um, Nanushka leather puffer. It is. It feels like butter. It's menswear and it's just so beautiful. So good. Can't find a price though, which is annoying me. There's no price. And it's vegan as well, I think, which is even better. So it's pleather. It's not even real leather, but it feels like real leather. So it's been a successful shopping trip at Selfridges. We got a few bits. Um, I'm not gonna show you the looks because obviously we want you lot to be wowed. Now we're gonna get some coffee because I've got a long drive home and I'm gonna need it. Finally back home. When I tell you it's been an eventful day, it's been an eventful day. This bag underneath my eyes is so rude. I'm looking real tired. Um, yeah, driving to central London is the ghetto, but I'd rather drive and be my own comfort than get on the train Ugh, with other people. <laughs> That's just the truth. So I'm back home after shopping to rush back to my mum's house to pick up that guy that's making so much noise right now um you want to be on the camera you want to see what's going on hi guys so it's been a minute since i've picked up the camera for this particular vlog it's quite late it's like 
Yeah, it's 10 to 12 midnight. I'm packing for my trip to Paris. There's so much to do. The babies are sleeping. And we leave at 4 a.m. Thursday morning. Um, yeah, I didn't actually really tell you guys. Yeah, so I'm going Paris. I'm going Paris Fashion Week. This is my first fashion week in 10 years. I'm nervous. I'm a little bit scared and apprehensive um i've prayed so much about this and i've just asked god to just like set on my spirit and just you know make me feel at ease and let me feel peace and i do feel peace it's just that it's been a long time since i've actually like really indulged in fashion in that sense so i have um I'm going to explain how it all came about because it's very last minute. We only, de we only decided that I was going to go and do this last week. So we've literally had like eight days to like plan everything and, you know, try and get some invitations to shows and whatnot. And looking at my page, you know, it's not, you can tell that I've made a transition and you can tell that um, I'm not. Not that I'm not fashionable or stylish, because I am, of course. But my point is, my content hasn't been like, like that. So, yeah, I have got some invitations to presentations, which I'm so grateful for. I'm just feeling so blessed. Like, literally, my best friend, who's the editor of Grace magazine, my manager, between them two, they've literally been, like, emailing down. PRs and trying to get me some stuff. So I will explain later on. So much to pack. So I need to do it quickly. I think I'm just gonna do it tomorrow because this baby's gonna wake up and I just cannot. So I've literally just finished my hair and it's raining so I've got my hood and my hat on because I can't afford for this rain to you know if I'm my issue. so <laughs> I am power walking with the baby in the pram he was so good at the salon like I'm so surprised he was so good like I, when I go to the salon I always drag my mum along because I'm just scared of how he's gonna be but he was so good but to, to be fair it was a Kind of a quick appointment two hours normally i'm in there for ages especially if i'm doing like a texture release but yeah anyway power walking because the baby hasn't even got a rain thingy for the pram but he's all right he's okay Whew. now off to selfridges to get my bits and pieces and then off home to pack Um, the outfit of the day is just literally my mango coat, Chanel jumbo. Um, these trousers from H&M, they're kind of knitted flared bottoms. My Balenciaga track and an essentials hoodie. I'm probably going to repeat this whole outfit to Paris tomorrow. I need to be very comfortable. So I'm probably just going to wear this. Um, I found some new pieces at her that I might exchange. So this is the original lengi bag that I wanted but um, they only had the pearl one at the time so I think I'm going to swap that out then I've seen this cute Nanushka dress which will actually be a moment I want to try it on it's small though so it was you know wish me luck found this little gem as well which I'm definitely going to get um, and then this two piece by Baros so yeah, I'm going to quickly try these on and then if any of them work, I'm going to swap them out and stuff like that.
Okay, so I'm back home. It took me two and a half hours to drive home from Selfridges. I'm absolutely shattered and it's about 5.30 now. I have no energy to cook, so it's gonna have to be a takeout tonight. And I'm going to um, pack because, yeah, I need to pack. And I wanna kind of make sure that my husband gets enough rest enough sleep enough beauty sleep because he's doing a long drive tomorrow and he needs to get his beauty sleep in i'm so tired i'm shattered guys i'm actually so tired um yeah so look at the bags i don't get bags recently i've been getting a lot of bags because i'm just not getting enough rest so yeah, i want him to get some like adequate amount of sleep so He's on his way home with our toddler now. Thank God my mum's going to pick him up from me, from us, so that we don't have to, like, drop him off because that's just all wrong. We've got stuff to do. Sis, you know, got stuff to do. Yeah. What's so funny? Hmm? Okay, take your banana. Thank you. Mm. Yes, as I was saying... Enough of that. Hair is looking fresh and fluffy for Paris. <gasps> oh yeah, and I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who watched my last sit down video. Yeah, my get to know me video. Thank you so much for the love. It, do you know what, yeah, I should have done it a lot earlier than people, because I don't think people are understanding the transition. They're just like, what? I don't understand this girl. So now, you understand i hope you guys can relate to me a bit more and yeah just thank you so much lovely comments underneath that video i'll link, i'll put it at the end of this vlog so you guys can watch that banana is on the floor so you guys can watch that and then i'm going to sorry i keep losing my train of thought but yeah i just want to say thank you you know just thank you so much and thank you for the constant support so yeah I'm gonna am I ending this vlog here? Mm. Mm. Yes, I am. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll end this vlog here because it's kind of like I do vlog, a sit down video, vlog, a sit down video. So we'll see how things go and how much I get done. But yeah, I'm gonna be editing all the way to Paris in the car, um, so that this vlog is out on time. But yeah, guys, your sis is going to Paris. Paris. Yeah. So, and my nails are fit for the occasion. I just feel like so many things just worked out because I didn't even plan. I didn't even plan like that. Um, I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited. And I hope that God's divine favour will just follow me everywhere I go in Paris and he will just connect me with the right people. In Jesus' name. Amen. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here and the next vlog will be obviously me, the journey to Paris and me in Paris and everything in between. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys soon. Make sure you um, subscribe and make sure you follow me on Instagram as well.